The province is suspending classes from pre-K to grade 12 indefinitely in response to the global pandemic. For the next three days, parents are being encouraged to take their kids out of school. And on Friday, classes are officially cancelled. We wanted to uh, provide an, an opportunity where if, if parents wanted their children to not be in school, they could pull them out immediately. Um, but we also wanted to provide that support, understanding that Saskatchewan is still at a relatively low risk, um, provide that support to other parents that may need a few days to organize how they are going to, um, you know, provide their child care in the, in the weeks ahead. Students will receive their final grade based on their marks right now. If they're eligible to graduate grade 12, they will. And in the meantime, teachers will be working to create a supplemental curriculum to keep kids learning. Outside of the classroom, the province is tightening up rules for hospitals and long-term care homes. Only essential visitors will be allowed. Religious gatherings are now restricted depending on who is attending. And Mo has a message for shoppers. Don't hoard supplies. At this point, we do not believe that coronavirus itself is going to cause shortages in our grocery stores. But hoarding most certainly will. So don't do it. And finally, if you are a Saskatchewan resident traveling abroad... It's time for you to come home now. Those who return from outside of Canada must self-isolate for 14 days. The chief medical health officer says the risk is low. So far, all the cases are related to travel. He says the decision to close schools is based on public outcry and prevention. We don't want to be as much as we can in a place where some provinces are seeing a significant increase in cases. They're seeing cases due to group events. They are seeing cases due to uh, local transmission. Shahab says all seven people with COVID-19 in the province are now self-isolating at home. None of them have been hospitalized because of the virus. Alex Saladuka, CBC News, Regina.